can you start us off by saying what your name is and where you're from and uh, what tribes you, you represent as well? Um, what is it? My name is Eden Jumper. I'm from South Florida, Hollywood, Florida, um, and I'm a member of the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Okay. And uh, you were at Standing Rock, correct? Yeah, I was there from February, the beginning of February to the end of February for about three weeks. Mm -hmm. And which camp? Um, um, I was in the Two Spirit camp in um, Osheti Sakuin. Okay. So, um, what has life been like for you since Standing Rock has ended? Mm, you know, I was um, I was in a you know in a, in a weird place before I went to Standing Rock. You know, um, processing a lot from having dropped out of college and from really like delving into my identity. So Standing Rock, you know, certainly was that place to be for me. That helped me to like you know process a lot of things, especially like my identity as a Two Spirit person. So afterwards, it was great to have that energy and carry it forward, but also. Um, did you know just be affected by like um, by, by by my depression and everything? Um, it's kind of hard to carry that energy in South Florida of wanting to you know share with people how Standing Rock was because a lot of people you know aren't really into that into listening. Mm -hmm. But otherwise than that, like in my own circles, my personal circles, it's it's been like it hasn't been bad conveying it to people how it was. Hard you know talking to them about. Um, you know, indigenous resistance nowadays. So it's been like a half and half kind of like suffering internally, but then, you know, getting, putting it out there and, you know, kind of sharing it with people, you know? Do you feel like you've been able to share your story with, uh, with people that are willing to listen most of the time? Yeah, most, like I said before, mostly in just personal circles. Mm -hmm. I'd like, there's like native spaces that are basically non-existent native only spaces to like talk and you know work together and cry together and you know share stories together are like almost non-existent other than like one-on-one -on -one with other native people mm -hmm. so you know in that department yeah it's been pretty good but to like a group of like non-natives or white people you know you have to kind of get a whole bunch of other things out of out of the way like teaching them about the history of of America, like the America's colonization and the genocide, because a lot of people don't know about that. Mm -hmm. So, like, you folk, you get frustrated and focus more on like the preliminaries more so than what you want to talk about. Mm -hmm. So, do you feel like what has been put out in regards to Sandy Rock, like the media? You said there was a documentary on Netflix. Do you feel like, in general, there's been? They, do you feel like in general the media has been doing a good job or a bad job or like? sort of kind of so-so depending on who's doing it? Well, at the time when, you know, I saw media about it because, you know, for a little bit, like, no big news.